So I want to rock the chest piece because I really like it, but I don't want the glow. That's the problem. It's got this like detective feel because of like the, the trench coat and the tie. And so I really want it, but I don't want all this, this glow garbage. I just want it on the boots and, and the arms. Hey, what's going on? I'm just Soul. And today the new 12 came out. So I'm gonna be talking about that while grinding Bonfire Bash because I still need to get us something new so I can make a video on it. But honestly, the 12 that we got, we didn't get a 12 last week uh, because of the whole layoff thing. And so pretty much this 12, a lot of it is just, is a bunch of stuff they would have said before the patch, like reasons they made changes and stuff, but it's all just like this week. But they still do have future upcoming stuff. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more of my content, you subscribe. And with that, let's jump in. And we're in. So we got the TWAB and they talked a, a bit about their future updates, like what they got planned, even though a lot of it is uh, Revenant related, um, which Revenant is a little far away, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're getting them anyway. So that's kind of all the, that's like, that's like the big news is that at least we're getting something. Oh, I'm super locked in shooting my Trinity Gold, these enemies, give me a second. They, they talked about a couple of things. They talked about perks that they're buffing, exotic weapons that they're buffing, and exotic armor that they're buffing. Um, all in, in revenue. Actually, a lot of them make, like, a lot of sense. Uh, they did talk about Chaperone, which kind of worries me, because I don't think Chaperone uh, is weak. I think it's actually a little bit... A little bit on the stronger side, if anything. And so, but that's, you know, I, maybe maybe they're looking for a PvE type of buff. Because, I mean, yeah, it's not good PvE, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe they'll give it Warple Weapon, I don't know. Give it Auto-Loading Holster. They, they talked about Huckleberry, which I really like Huckleberry. I love guns that auto-reload. And so, I am interested to see what this Huckleberry change will be. What do we have? We have Juju, we have Pros we have Prospector, which Juju I am obviously excited for as well. Juju is one of those guns that I've, I've wanted to be good since forever. Like, but I think everyone wants Juju to be good. Everyone wants to like Juju, right? I can't be the only one. Because it's, I mean, it's, come on, it's Juju. You know what I mean? It, it's just, the problem with Juju is that it's like, why would I ever use it over something like Outrun? And so I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do with it. Because it's got a very similar problem to Huckleberry, where when your exotic perk is having a Rampage, it just isn't very interesting and can't really keep up with the kind of exotics we have now like literally what i'm using right now like like trinity ghoul why would i use huckleberry over this gun you know what i mean well both but it's just why why would i like this the trinity is so much like dude huckle can't do this and so i'm interested to see what they're going to do to to those kind of guns because those are guns that I, I do see that need a little bit of assistance uh prospect prospect is another one they they recently buffed prospector not too long ago uh, essentially giving it chain reaction and so i'm interested to see what else they're gonna do because it, it very much obviously there's a tomb ship right here yeah hi buddy they obviously want it to be an ad clear gl which is fine like, that's not a problem uh and so i i maybe they'll give it subsistence you know or maybe something more related to its exotic perk uh, like what is this what are you doing up here Maybe something like to where if you shoot it and then you hold it every single time, like uh, like the more you, you shoot in, in rapid succession before letting go, the more each of them deals damage, you know what I mean? Something like that. Then it would be like, you have chain for ad clear and then that part of it for like boss damage, which that, that'd be good. And so if I don't know, just like, just throwing something out there. You know what I mean? Just kind of throwing something out there. They also talked about perks, which one of the main ones was, uh, Oh, what is that perk called? I don't know. Um, master of Arms. They talk about Master of Arms. Which Master is just horrible. Like, no matter how you look at it, you, you can't lie to yourself and, and say Master is good. Master of Arms is so bad. Especially when it has Frenzy on it already. Like, that's like Master's biggest problem. Is not only is Master not good, but they literally have Frenzy on it as well. So, like, why would I not just go Frenzy? Because Master is just, like, that terrible. And so, I don't know, I just, I'd literally just give it, just increase its damage. Even to like 20 would even like almost make it worth it. 25 at max, I wouldn't make it any higher than 25 because it is, you know, just a singular damage bonus. And so being 25, that's kill clip. Just, it's essentially kill clip with any weapon and it's infinitely changeable. So that'd be like a little strong. So I get that. But just, just something, dude. They got to do something because that's off. Ooh, compass Rose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to I gotta delete one of these million bows I got. Hold on. Compass Rose. Oh, I got two Compass Roses. Oh, no. I want to delete that. Oh, 
Oh, move, 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 move. There we go. God roll, God roll. Mm, no, Master of Arms is just. I'm. I'm looking forward to it because as as someone who used Recluse a lot, like old Recluse, a lot. I I want it to. You know, obviously not go back to its former glory, but I I want it to be like not just an auto delete like oh it has master arms huh it's a delete bro like, it's not even worth it like that's not what i want they talked about slideways as well which slideways is just essentially worse slide shot due to its it's a it's inability to be able to re rock itself that's all i do like literally that's all i do if you, if slideways was able to re rock itself incredible perk like good good perk because like the stability bump's really nice especially the enhanced one uh, the handling's really nice. It's just, it's not rockable, and so the reload is super, like, icky feeling. Because it, it, it's literally the same reload as Slide Shot, but it takes literally 10 times as long. It goes from a 0.3 second cooldown to a 3 second. And so it's just worse. <laughs> why? In a situation which I was allowed to have both, why wouldn't I always pick Slide, slide Shot? You know what I mean? Because that's like Melissa's Birthright versus... It, uh, ignition code. Why would I not always pick ignition? Because ignition code has slide shot compared to uh, militias that has uh, um, slide weights. And so, yeah, I literally just get rid of its cooldown. And so I hope that's what they're going to do. But what other perks do they talk about? They talk about alley mag, which alley mag is just literally terrible. <laughs> like I don't even know what else to say. It's just it's just worse tack mag or worse flared mag. Well, it's just worse of both of them. You know what I mean? I just shot a dead dog. They talked about exotic armor. And that's that's what I'm excited. For. One one very particular one, and that's uh, that's mask quiet. Mask the quiet one is one that I have been wanting a buff for so long, which is weird because I don't play tight. And so it's like, why would of all the exotics that are in this game, why would I want mask to get buff? And I don't know, dude. It's because mask is so terrible. That's why. It's because it's like I look at mask and I go, wow. Wait till they find out about one-eyed mask like another mask <laughs> and it's just infinitely better it is like the ability regen sucks the health regen sucks i i can't ever even think of a case in any situation both pve and pvp where i could justify using that exotic which is like the biggest problem right because even like super niche exotics they're still like that niche you know what i'm saying where it's like you know it's not good in all forms but there is those that, that one scenario there isn't that one scenario for a match of the pipe. It's just bad. They talked about Skull, which Skull is another one that is just really bad. Skull needs to not be kills. That's just what it is. Skull really needs to not be kills. It needs to be like shards where it's kills and damage because that is what is like hurting it the most is the fact that it is exclusive kills. Cause like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. You're not killing 400 ads with an open bomb. Like you're just not because if if you have that kind of horde of enemies where you can no bomb them and get a lot of kills the red bars you, you, you're literally you're killing red bar thrall bro you're killing 20 red bar thrall and like if i'm if i'm playing with a teammate and he dope bombs a bunch of red bar thrall he's out the fire team bro he's getting there <laughs> this guy clearly ain't the day one team member dude he's off i don't want him on my team and so that's kind of like my only big issue is that it, that's that's just it uh there's also white ranger which i'm gonna be honest i probably should have looked at before talking about it because i don't even know what white ranger does <laughs> i know it's got something to do with deflecting uh but there's there's white ranger and then there's uh a raiju's harness and dude i couldn't tell you the difference with that. i don't know what i really want black ranger to do since this is obviously the blocking one this attacks redirect your arc staff deal actually increased damage um, I would get rid of this and I would make it to where it did what Arc Staff used to do. Uh, I'm not on Hunter. What am I doing? Um, so Arc Staff, before we had 3.0s, uh, for anyone that didn't play Hunter, when you were running Middle Tree and you were allowed to deflect, after deflecting, you got a ginormous damage bonus. And that was, that, that was the point. It was super good in PvP. It was a very good super 1v1 super. Because pretty much if it's a projectile, you just deflect one of them and then you just one shot them with a light attack. You just boom and they're dead. Uh, wells is really good in because you're just deflecting as you're walking into a well and then you just boom light attack and kill everyone. So I would just put that back in the game and put it on this helmet because this like deflect, this is awful. Like projectiles just don't deal any damage anyway. And so it, 
like unless you're gonna make it to where when like an acolyte shoots me with their gun and i deflect it and it hits him he dies instantly then it won't matter like it just won't like i said most of the twab was talking about the patch that we just had that's pretty much what the twab was mostly about and then they did like a little bit of the talking of like here's things to come and like this is revenant stuff like we're not even getting these changes now hopefully when we get in like act three they start talking a lot more about what these changes are actually going to be instead of just hey these are upcoming but that's all i've got for you today if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you want to see more of my content you subscribe i'm just soul and i'll catch you guys in the next one